Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I'm very excited to uh, give you guys a kind of a sneak peek demo of uh, an advancement of our room booking solution. Now, I've done a video before uh, and I'll post it in the links uh, or in the comments below um, that has uh, showed you how we're doing the in-room booking on the Touch 10 and the Navigator, uh, which is an EFT and will be released um, as early as uh, March next month. Um, but what I wanted to show you now was kind of the next step of this, the evolution of this. And um, we've done a couple of videos showing you the Navigator, and I think I've shown you both the, uh, the tabletop version and the uh, wall mount version. Well, the wall mount version specifically is designed to be able to be outside of the room. So if you think about a conference room, you'd have the Navigator on the inside or the Touch 10 on the inside, and then you'd have the wall mount version sitting outside that room. Well, in this particular scenario, you can have it tied to this existing device or this workspace. But um, one of the things about this would be that um, you don't necessarily need all the same controls. So you want to have a different interface or a different mode of the, uh, the touch device or the navigator. So this is going to be kind of a, a scheduler mode, essentially, uh, if you will, for the device. And so what I'm going to do today is show you this um, and show you this um, tied to uh, a room system that I have here and um, kind of show you how it's going to work and how it's going to look uh, and then I actually have one physically here too that I'm going to uh, to show you uh, as we uh, as we go along so to get started I'm going to go ahead and switch to my view here so you guys have, have seen me do this before um, what I've got here is a uh, room kit pro um, so I you'll see that I have the calendaring uh, set up uh, it shows that the room is available uh, it's 1224 right now on the East Coast, and um, you see that this is my uh, in-room navigator, and I have it uh, active. You'll see that the uh, device is working here. You'll see I have my room calendar. Uh, I don't have anything uh, booked here, um, and we're going to go through and do the room booking process. Um, and you'll see right here, I've actually got my um, my other navigator, and this is the wall mount version that I have set for outside of the room. And very nice, sleek interface here, showing the name of this particular room or this device. Um, I've also got um, this uh the time right here um and you see that this room is available and it says book now and i have the button here which will actually show the room calendar uh, and you can see here there is nothing on that so this is actually the um and you can look in your little pip here but that is actually the um uh, navigator that i have here so as i uh, as i hit x here you'll see this goes back to that um, and this is the one that shows the green light down here below i've showed you guys this before sorry for all the lights there um, and uh, showing that the room is available. So you can see it from afar if you're walking down the hall. Now, what I'm going to do here is, is, and I can do this either way. I can come over here and I could hit book room on my navigator and book it for the amount of time. You'll see this is the uh, kind of the inside uh, look of it there. Um, but if I go out here to the outside, you'll see that it is a very similar process. And this is going to sit here and allow me to do a room booking, just like I would on the inside. So I'm going to exit uh, out of this one here, and I'm just going to go ahead and book um, this room from this uh, outside navigator. So I hit it, booked, and you see automatically you're going to see this ad hoc meeting. The room scheduler has reserved this. You'll see on the inside that it shows up on my calendar. And of course, I have ad hoc meetings sitting here uh, listed on um, my device. I also have the ability to remove this. Um, I can remove it from the inside, not the outside, and I can extend it from the inside, not the outside. So um, this is going to be the meeting experience. And of course, if I add 15 minutes uh, here, uh, you'll see that this goes from uh, 12.45 to now 13 or 1 o'clock. Um, and um, it'll take just a second for this to update. This will update out here, and it'll update on the navigator on the outside once it's been confirmed and acknowledged, just a few seconds. So I'm going to go back to my other camera view here just so I can bring this back up show you guys this so now you'll notice that you've got the red light down here just like we went through before um, so it's very easy to see from outside or walking down the hall that this room is booked and that there's an ad hoc uh, meeting available and um, it's telling me that it has been reserved by the uh, the admin in this particular uh, instance which is the scheduling account that I had uh, used so um, I hope you guys enjoy this video again kind of a sneak peek of the device and how it's going to look and uh, and how the look and feel and the how you'd be able to use it from the outside of the room um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm going to be doing another video soon, too, kind of showing how this is going to work from a setup pers perspective uh, through Control Hub and, and, and some tips and tricks you're going to want to do from a, a calendaring perspective um, to make sure that you get the best experience possible. So, again, any questions, comments, please, please, please just um, 
put them down below. I'll answer them, uh, try to get to them as quick as I can. And of course, uh, I don't say this enough, but uh, subscribe. Uh, we're trying to put these videos out uh, on a regular basis. And uh, hopefully, they're, uh, if you find them helpful, just subscribe and you'll get alerted uh, to every time we have a new video. So thanks, and we'll see you next time.